frustrating serpent. I want you to begin to pray. Raise your voice and begin to pray. Lift up that voice wherever you are and begin to say, Father, I thank you for tonight. Because tonight marks the night of change. Because I'm never going to come on now. Somebody begin to pray. As you share the broadcast, as your thumbs up keeps coming, as you're like you are praying. You are saying, Father, remember me tonight. And my spirit is open to receive that key tonight. Ah, Father, we thank you. We give you glory in the name of the Lord Jesus. Wherever you're connected from, you're connected from Asia, you're connected from Africa, Europe, North Central America, you know, South America, wherever you're connected, Atlantica, Oceania, wherever you're connected from, I welcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus is about to do something mighty. If you're here, you saw the topic of the day. It is called, my God, is someone excited? It is called frustrating serpent. Capture me by the Spirit of God. I don't want you to miss me. Even after giving you a dangerous key on how to frustrate the serpent. Uh, some of you all might have heard the word serpent. Uh, a serpent is actually a creature made by God. Uh, a serpent is a very subtle creature, a subtle animal created by God. Uh, even the scripture said, be wise what as a serpent, but be what gentle as a dove. Uh, listen to me, a serpent is a very subtle animal. Uh, that is why the serpent, wherever you see a serpent, you need to be watchful. Uh, the topic for tonight is frustrating serpent. Uh, I know when some of you saw it, you're like, oh, tonight is the night. Uh, I want you to capture me real good. Uh, uh, some of you all don't know that every gathering uh, uh, attracts a serpent. Uh, listen to me, for every gathering there is a serpent. Some of you the reason why you've not gotten to your place of destiny is because of a serpent. Uh, I don't know if you're ready for tonight. Some of you the reason why you touch certain things uh, uh, you're almost there but you don't get it is because there is a serpent. Uh, I don't understand if someone is getting I, I really want to give you guys this key quickly but I need people that are ready for this key I need excited people people that are hungry for a change uh, is somebody ready tonight somebody begin to pray in the spirit wherever you are Father, we glorify thy name. Listen to me, serpent, serpent. For every gathering, listen to me. For every gathering, every gathering, a serpent is being attracted. Some of you might have been asking, why have I, listen to me, why have I been, um, I'm trying, I've been trying, I've been praying. You know, some of you, they've poured oil on you. They've decreed prophetic words came over you. Uh, but yet, there is no result. And you're like, is it that there is no God? Brothers and sisters, there is a God. But the truth is this, there is a serpent at work. Uh, a serpent, uh, listen to me listen to me i'm about to give you a key on how to frustrate the serpent because if the serpent is still in your life no matter how you try you go back to square one now, listen to me some of you the serpent in your life is your sister the serpent in your life is your friends are, are your friends are. the serpent in your life i live rushta paradia my auntie kabiata anste you belong to a certain community you belong to a certain group uh, not knowing those Ah, and there is a serpent. Uh, listen to me. Even Jesus had the serpent in his midst. Uh, even in the ministry of Jesus, he dealt with the serpent. Uh, listen to me. And when the prostitute came and broke the alabaster box and the oil, you know, the fragrance was everywhere. And Judas, the spirit of the serpent have been existing, not even now. It has been existing long before now. And Judas said, 
God, Lord God, why don't we, instead of wasting the oil, why don't we, you, you know, sell this oil? We should have sold this oil and given it to the poor. And what was Jesus' response? He said, he said, he said, he said the poor we will always have among us. Are you listening to me? That is the serpent. A serpent, actually, when they want to operate, the truth is this. They don't know what is going on in your heart. They don't know what is going on. They, they, you know, they are subtle. They are wise. Uh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm about to frustrate the serpent in people's life. If you're ready for the kill, I want to give somebody the kill. Serpents are everywhere. You wonder, even in church, I'm talking tongue-filled speaking Christians, uh, religious folks. I'm talking serpent. The spirit of serpent is at work in them. I'm about to give the key and listen to me. You're about to be free from the serpent because it's an error. You've been prophesied to, you've been prayed upon, nothing. They've done everything, but yet you're stagnant. Is somebody ready? Say, I want the key. Before you know what is in the house, I need, I should have opened the door for you. If I don't open my door for you, you can't even tell what is in my room. The spirit of the serpents never knows what is going on. Listen to me. Let nobody lie to you. The devil does not know what is going on inside of you. The only time the devil is aware is when you voice it out. If you open, let me give you guys the key straight up. Listen to me. Genesis, just open to the book of Genesis 3. Genesis 3. What this is how the serpent operate. I'm showing you how those serpents in your life, even in your business, your family operate. This is how they operate. Since they don't know, they come. What do they do? They come. And they are like, Do you know what the serpent said to Eve? He said, Eve, did God say you should not eat from that tree? Had God said to you that you shouldn't eat from that tree? The serpent is a very wise animal. This is how that friend that is a serpent act. Most friends, the reason why they are in your life is not because they love you. They are in there to get information to fight you. They know they don't possess the qualities you have. So what do they do? They come like the serpent, wise, and they ask questions to get information. So once they get that information, they use it against you and they frustrate you. Most of you get too excited that when something is about to be done, sealed, what happens to you? You voice it out to the serpent's disguising as a friend is some of the capturing me by the spirit and satan a form of a serpent came he said eve the god said you shouldn't eat from that tree and Eve, you see you some of you need to you talk too much the reason why most people are suffering is because of their mouth I'm about to give the key. Watch me. Capture me real good. And what happened? He said, Eve, the God said you shouldn't eat from that tree. And Eve just blasted. He said, ah, yes. God said, you know, ladies, ladies talk. He said, he said yeah, that's true. God said, uh, God said, well, we can eat of every fruit in the garden, but that we should not touch. He said, no. He said, he said why did God say you shouldn't? He said, because the moment we eat from that tree, we're going to die. He said, no, forget about that. Why? No, you're not going to die. This is how the serpent in friends act. And they come and they say, ah, why don't you sleep with that man? I can connect you. It's just to sleep with him. When you sleep with him, that's all. It's going to give you what you want. It's going to get you that house. You're a beautiful girl with the curves. You're sexy. You have everything it takes. You know, you don't need to suffer. You're too cute to work. You know, you're too smart. Look at you. You have the curves and everything. I'm talking the serpent in friends. Disguising us. Is somebody capturing me? I feel like I'm speaking to myself. They come like friends and they are like, oh, you don't need to work. Just sleep. I have connect. I'll give you. Don't just give me my percentage and you'll be fine. That is how the devil operates. They come as friends and they are like, oh, uh, um, you know, uh, 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 um, um, you know, you know, I love you so much. I want your good. I want you to be fine. I want you to get married this year. No, they are trying to pull out what from you. 
So when you tell them the latest man, their energy, their corrupt energy, their corrupt art, start fighting God's plan for you. Some of you, your miracle died prematurely because you talked too much and you voiced it to the serpent in your life that's disguised as a friend. And what happened? He said, uh, you know, God said to us that we can eat of every fruit, but not of the one in the middle. The moment we eat of that fruit, we are going to die. He said, no, you're not going to die. You can eat from it. How do you frustrate the spirit of a serpent? Is somebody ready for the key? You want to frustrate that serpent in your life who's been there for a long time. If Eve never opened the door for the serpents by speaking and telling them what God spoke to them, man wouldn't have been casted out of the garden. The key is access. You've given access to the wrong people too much. Too much access to the wrong people. If you don't open a door for me, I can't tell what is in your room. If you don't let me in your house, I can't tell you the color of your room. I can't tell you the color of your bed sheet. I can't tell you the colors of your shoes. I can't tell you how many shoes you have. I can't tell you... How many furnitures you have in your house? I can't tell you how your house is looking. But because you opened the door and I entered your house, now I can tell you the things that are in there. Your problem is this access. You've given the wrong people access. You've given serpent access. They come. Remember the serpent, very wise. They don't just come and say, oh, I'm a serpent. No, they come wise. What do they do? They ask you questions because they know they don't know what it is. So they ask you, they prick you. So you tell them things. And when you tell them things, they use it against you. You want to frustrate the serpents? Deny them access. They will get frustrated. When you stop giving them access, when you stop giving them information about you, what happens? They become angry. When they become angry, they start backbiting. They start saying things against you behind you. Now when they start saying things behind you and you keep moving non-stop, what happens? They get frustrated the more and they leave you. You want to frustrate the serpent? Deny them access. Access is the key to frustrating the serpent. You were prophesied to. The thing has started happening already. But now, that was when they've, haven't you wondered, uh, you know, it is when a new guy that is about to settle down with you comes into your life. That is when that friend that I've been away for months come and like, ah, what is going on? Who is the new guy? That is the spirit of a serpent. The friends that don't support your growth. That want no good for you. The spirit, even Jesus battled the spirit of a serpent. Samson battled with the spirit of a serpent. What are you saying? For even in churches, we have serpents. They're planted to know the next step of the ministry. To know the next step of the man of God. That is why you need to be very sensitive. Don't just operate physically. You will see a person ra -ba -ba -ba, speaking in tongues. There's a spirit of a demon in that person. Don't be fooled. I keep telling my people, Lucifer, Satan is not scared of your title. He's not even afraid of your anointing. He was called the anointed cherub. It's somebody capturing me. So he's not scared of your anointing. He's anointed. If you think you're anointed, he's anointed. So the anointed demon possessed people in church. The anointing is only there to amplify your gift. It's not, I'm telling you, he's not scared of your anointing. So do not be fooled. There are serpents everywhere. You'll be like, oh, but he speaks in tongues. Ah, she's born, she's, you know, she's this, she's that, he's born, he's that. I promise you, brothers and sisters, they're only there to get information from you, to fight you. Are you not surprised when you see God raising a certain man of God, genuine? It is the same, I'm telling you, people would post, title, you will see evangelist, prophet, pastor. They are the ones that will go hidden, they will go behind doors. Some will sponsor other people to come and blackmail. They will sponsor, I'm talking people, your fellow 
evangelists, your fellow prophets, your fellow pastors go behind you to blackmail and frustrate your grace. They, they, some of them use other pages to come and comment nonsense on your broadcast. That is the demon operating. That is why I'm not moved by anointing and post. Envy is the spirit of a serpent. Jealousy. Pride. I'm telling you, these are real stuffs. I'm not here to sugarcoat nothing. I'm here to tell you real stuffs. You got to be careful. Who have you opened the door? The door is about to close. You are denying them access. Who have you given access into your life, your private space? Somebody begin to pray. Say, Father, help me to deny every serpent access. Begin to pray. Laugh. Right. Begin to pray. Raise your voice. Father, help me to deny. Listen to me. They're frustrated people now. So called friends, not knowing they are, they, are, they, are, they are serpents. Begin to pray wherever you are. I deny, I frustrate every serpent. That is how to frustrate them. You deny them as they become your, your enemy. Once they can't get anything, they can't get you no more. If you're not in my house, how can you fight me? But if you're out there, you, you don't have access and you can't fight me. So deny them. Let God deal with you. Let God announce you. Let the result speak. Not you speaking. You're out. No, don't do that. Let God. Even Jesus had to be hidden. God in flesh had to be hidden. The angel appeared. He said, take this child. Run away for safety. Not everything you say, you hide so high. Somebody capturing me. I feel like I'm speaking to myself. Are these people truly ready for tonight? My God. Somebody begin to say thank you, Jesus. Somebody give God thanks. Be excited because you've been delivered tonight. I'm telling you no more access. The devil, the devil has been frustrated tonight. They've deceived you for too long. I've deceived you for too long. No more access. No more access. No more. No more. 